Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Kumar and uh, currently I am working as a specialist programmer at Infosys. So I am going to share my assessment and my interview experience at Infosys. So in 2025, Infosys is going to hire approximately uh, 20,000 students. So most probably your campus may be IV. I have all the notes but uh, you don't need to write anything. I will provide all the resources. Uh, in the comment section or in the description of this video. So Infosys basically two roles are hired. The first one is system engineer, or the second one is the specialist programmer role. If you want to know the CTC, you can easily find it on the internet. So for a specialist programmer, there are two different ways by which you can get into it. The first one is uh, on campus. If again Infosys, your campus may come. The second way is that uh, if you are going through the hack with Infi contest. In my case, Infosys Mary Campus me aayi thi, and in both of the cases, uh, there the first round is assessment round. So I'm going to share the my assessment questions. The first question is uh, related to the zero one knapsack problem. Like it is similar to the zero one knapsack problem. We all know it is a classical dynamic programming question. The second one is related with the subset problem. Means we are given with an array and we have to print all the subset of this array. The third question is related to the aggressive cow question. Uh, it is also a good question that uses the concept of uh, binary search. Now, if I have to tell you some important point about the assessment round. So, the first one is that you don't need to pass all the test cases of all the coding questions. It is not important. Even if you pass the 50% of the test cases, you will get an interview call from the Infosys. Means let's suppose there are total 50 uh, test cases. So if you are able to pass 25, means if you are able to pass 50% test case, so you will get the, an interview call uh, from them. Second thing, it is not always important to write the most optimal solution of the question. No, because uh, they will just see that how many test cases you are able to find. So if even if you are not uh, getting the optimal approach at that time, try to write the beautiful approach and try to pass as much test case as you can. Uh, in my case, maybe, uh, in one of the question, I am unable to get the optimal approach. So I just uh, write the brute force approach and I am able to clear the 5 test case out of 12. Okay, so after the assessment, if you clear the assessment, they will call you for an interview. And the time duration between it is approximately 10 to 15 days. And for both, like for hack with Infi, is if you are going through off campus or if you are going through on campus. Dono ke liye assessment round hoti hai. But the difference is that if you are going through off campus, means if you are participating in hack with Infi, so the level of question is uh, a little bit difficult. And if you are going through on campus, then the level of question is a bit easier than the off, off campus. And before participating in the assessment, try to solve uh, at least four to five previous year question. It will help you. Means, if you hack with Infi, then only solve the previous hack with Infi ke previous year question. And if you are on campus, then only solve the previous year question on campus. Solve karo. Uh, it is good for the practice. Next, if you are selected for the interview, so they will not take your interview in, in, in your college campus. They will call you to the nearest uh, location near nearest location jahan ki unka dc hoga jahan ki unka office hoga so in my case my college is in bhubaneswar so they called me in the bhubaneswar office so i have written all the question that is asked from me and as well as my friend uh, who is uh, in the interview on that day so the first question that i ask is uh, to merge the sorted array means he given me the two sorted array and we have to merge it in a sorted manner. Like uh, I have an array A that is already sorted. 
and I have array B that is also already sorted and we have to merge it we have to find a new array from both of by merging the two array and we have to make sure that that array is the sorted it is also I guess uh, if you are solving data structures and algorithm continuously you must solve this question next question they asked is uh, maximum sum sub array uh, basically it's a kernels algorithm third question is based on the graph that is number of island it is also present on the lead code third question that they asked from me is uh, they gave me a binary search tree and they told me to write uh, but uh, to write an in order traversal on the binary tree and we all know the in order traversal of the binary tree is in ascending order so first they told me to write, write the in order traversal and then they told me to apply the binary search on this sorted array third question that they ask is to prove the time complexity of binary search uh, next question I have one more question and uh, that is they told me to write an algorithm of quick sort. So that's all the DSA question that they asked from me. Uh, one thing I want to mention here, like uh, if you don't know anything, uh, in my case, I'm unable to give the optimal approach of uh, number of island question because actually I graph pehle par rakha tha, but uh, at that point of time, I'm unable to recall that. So if you are not able to give the optimal approach of that question, it's okay. Just try to give them brute force approach and they will tell you that how to solve this question. Second, after data structures and algorithm question, they asked uh, some core question. Uh, so the questions are, first they asked me to explain the acid property. Second, they asked me to explain all the four pillar of hopes. Then they ask me about uh, TCP and UDP protocol. Uh, then they asked me about the necessary condition of the deadlock. And one question they also asked me about the socket programming. So I told him, sir, I don't know. Although this subject is in my semester, but like I'm not focused on that time. So I told him, sir, I don't know. And it's okay. This, they say, okay, no problem. So basically that's all about my interview and my assessment experience as i told that uh, i will attach all the all these questions into the comment or in the description of this video okay so if uh, the important point that you have to keep your keep in your mind while interview is that first if you know the question if you know the solution what they are of the question what they are asking so uh, be confident with your answer and if you don't know then also be confident in saying no that sir i don't know uh, that's fine so that's all about my experience if you want to know anything more you can comment in this video or you can con contact me on my social media account on linkedin or on insta so thanks to all that's it